Yeah, the work wrapped up for the day, Steve, but the crew will be back out here tomorrow. I'm being told by the contractor that they'll be laying down the final pipe, the final drainage pipe, which will hopefully prevent future flooding. But let me show you what it looked like just a few years ago here at the Raleigh National Cemetery. This is video from 2021 when I first started questioning the United States Department of Veteran Affairs why the federal property was not being properly maintained. Graves were underwater, mud and debris coated some of the tombstones where World War I and World War II veterans were laid to rest. The VA said then construction for new drainage pipes would start fall of 2021. Well, work now taking place in two years later. Congresswoman Deborah Ross, who was instrumental in pushing the project forward, says there were some snags with permits with the city of Raleigh and other buried fiber lines. She says it was disrespectful that this problem persisted for so long. Of course, I'm happy that, you know, the end is in sight and that um, the graves are not submerged, that the VA has taken it seriously. The, the delay um, was disappointing and it was for a variety of reasons. So a local contractor who's a veteran himself is doing the work here and says that this public should be, uh, project should be finished on December 22nd. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.